désinvolte se dit d'une attitude dégagée, leste, sans embarras. Bonjour everyone, it is Marianne Lecoeur of HowToBeChicAndElegant.com And today in this video, we're going to talk about the French art of looking désinvolte. So if you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you and thank you very much if you could please click subscribe and click on the little bell to receive notifications. So désinvolte, what does it mean? So in French désinvolte means to, uh, to look a little bit free in our manners, in the way we, we stand, in the way we project ourselves. Uh, I like to see it as a kind of um, uh, almost a little rebellion, um, a freedom certainly, an insouciance also. So is being and looking disinvolved, la désinvolture, is it a sort of antidote to perfection? And is it about what we call the je ne sais quoi for French women. So let's talk about this and let's think about it. So first let's talk a little bit about perfection. So first of all, French chic is not, never has been, never will be about perfection. I like to think of it as an upgrade. You see, you do the best with what you have, you upgrade your style, you upgrade, you know, your, your looks. You look after yourself, certainly. But it's never, uh, the goal is never about perfection, about looking perfect. Yes, looking better than, you know, um, what you normally have or what you normally look like, but never about looking perfect. This image of perfection. Because let's not forget, perfection is unattainable. So if you are pursuing perfection, you will never be happy because you can never attain it. So in friendship, we like to look after ourselves and looking nice, of course, but while being aware that it is not about perfection. So I like to think that looking disinvolved, a little bit of désinvolture, in our way of being, in our manners, in what we wear, helps us to not look perfect, not to attain perfection, or try to attain perfection. And maybe it's a little bit of a kind of a rebellion. I like to think of French women a little bit as rebels. So that, you know, we kick the backside of perfection. No, I am not going to look perfect today. But what do you think? I'm going to talk about hair right now. As you can see, my hair is a little spiky, a little bit here and there, here, there you are. This is my hair. Um, many women are trying to have their hair look perfect. And I have received many comments telling me that uh, to do something with my hair, my hair is fine, my hair is not perfect, it's flowing everywhere, it's fluffy. Yes, Marie is fine, you know, fine, <laughs> um, and it gets fluffy, you know, during the humidity. But you know something, it is my hair, and you know, French women we like a good cut, we like a good color. But I have never heard in all my years of living in France, growing up in France, and having my friends and you know speak and everything like that, about having perfect hair. I have never heard this. So, I like to think of uh, French women, you know, relax in their hair. And I would like you to be also relaxed in the way your hair looks. And I tell you something, I'll give you an example. Well, two examples actually. Um, last week, I had a week that didn't go as planned. And that's an understatement. And I had an appointment with my hairdresser. I go to the hairdresser every four weeks uh, to do my roots. And I told and I asked her, please 
Chet Mahé, a uh, little bit spiky, you know, short lengths and everything, and long lengths, and, you know, make me look disinvolved. And this is uh, the result. I was very happy about that. I needed almost to, to rebel, to rebel against the, the week that I had, the bad week that I had. And I left the hairdresser so happy. So, because it was not perfect, you know, I gave a kick to perfection. Ah, my week is bad. Do my hair a bit spiky? Yes. And I felt so much better uh, for it. And the second example I'm going to give you is a couple of years ago, I did this live stream on the beach and there was a little breeze as always on the beach. My hair was flowing like this, it was funny and I had my, the, the sun in my eye. But you know something? I took a still from that live stream and I filmed it with my iPhone. It is very relaxed live stream and it is grainy. Um, I don't look perfect, my hair is flowing over my eyes and everywhere. But you know something? This photo is one of my favorite photos of myself. And you know why? I think it's because of this. It is not perfect. It is a little bit all over the place. But I, I look happy in that photo. And I felt happy. And it makes me happy to see it. So that's why I posted it on my website. I posted it as... Um, it is saved as a, on the profile of my Facebook um, account. So this is why I want to, to uh, tell you about, you see, when you are happy in the moment, the way you are, you see, you accept yourself with all your flaws, because we know we have flaws, but once you accept them, we can be happy with them. So maybe looking and being disabled is about, is about accepting that we are not perfect, in a way accepting our flaws, okay, my hair is not perfect, I haven't got a button nose, you know, um, my, my silhouette is not perfect, whatever it is. But by accepting that, we can uh, be happy in who we are. And maybe this is the answer. This kind of a désinvolture, this almost, you know, devil maker and je ne sais quoi, oh, je m'en fiche, you know, and maybe this is this antidote, this is an antidote to, to perfection. Well, look, for instance, I'll give you another example, I like giving examples, of these Instagrammers, you know, many Instagrammers, like, you know, on the style of the makeup, they show you a perfect, but so perfect image of themselves, of the makeup, of the hair, there's something I can never give you, um, of their lifestyle, of their life, of their home. And, you know, ask yourself a question. Do you think their followers are happier because of it? I think it's the opposite. Their followers may look to this thinking, oh, it is so perfect, I could never attain this. Oh, I'm going to give you another example. When I first started, shooting videos for my YouTube channel. I started in 2011. And I started after I published my first book, How to be Chic and Elegant. So that was the end of 2011. And I thought, you know, on videos, you have to look perfect. So of course, that's very difficult for me <laughs> because um, I know that I am not perfect. So it is very difficult. And you know, if you can look back to my oldest videos, you would see that I was tilted, I was stiff in my demeanor, I was stiff in my, you know, my body. I had to reshoot many times because what I was saying was not perfect. Sometimes I couldn't find my words, um, you know. But one day I said, stop! Of course, you know, your delivery is not going to be perfect because I am shooting, I'm speaking in my second language. Let's not forget that. And also, you know, if I'm too stiff, it's not going to look good for the viewer, I think. So I decided to relax a little bit and, you know, okay, if I make mistakes, it's okay. We all make mistakes and I accept my mistakes. Um, and I, I am okay with the fact that I'm not perfect. And I'm okay with, you know, 
sometimes my outfit, my outfit no, is not perfect. But I'm okay with that. Because, you, you know, if I showed you a picture of me absolutely perfect, would you be happier with this? How would you view yourself? You know, be thinking that, oh, friendship is about perfection. But you would never be able to, to attain it for yourself. You'd never be able to recreate for yourself. And I, I, it's not something I want for you. I don't want you to, to feel unhappy with, you know, not being able to attain this style. And I tell you, friendship is so attainable. It's attainable for any, everybody. You know, we have to be more relaxed. So, this is why, you know, all my tips are simple. Because friendship style is simple. And I, I like a little bit of humor. I give you examples. And I like a little bit of a joke. Because it's a little bit of you know, the désinvolte in me. And I'm like this, and I like to show that, to show the real me to you. You know, uh, the, the, the sun is my, in my eye, and the wind in my hair, yes, my hair is like this. And, um, you know, that's me. So, looking désinvolte is about being relaxed. Look, I have just been uh, joined in my video with my, my little chihuahua here, Coco. Coco? Say hello, dis bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. So, you see, he's relaxed. <laughs> so, this is also maybe a celebration of life, of celebrating, you know, um, the unexpected. Maybe you wanted to be on the, um, on the video, didn't you? So, this is life about being relaxed in your style, relaxed in your appearance, relaxed in your um, in yourself and you know not striving to be perfect but embracing um, yourself but also while still making the best and the most of what you have making an effort because you know I think life is beautiful and um, looking a bit a bit disinvolved is showing a little bit more of ourselves so please let me know what you think about this topic, if it speaks to you, and if you like my little Coco. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes, I think he's saying oui, or oh, yes. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and click on the little bell, and I'll chat to you in my next video. Thank you.